Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't going to marry an orphan cut, uh, started this cut scene. a bunch of hucksters, neither. The reuniting. He meets one like you, I hope. Reuniting. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> the much-awaited reunion. God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there. All right, all right. Go on. Scat. Shh. Ah, domestic bliss. Who would have thunk that John Marston finally was able to get it? What was that? I don't like it. On sound. Ghost. Scare the crows. Where? Damn crows! That's my, uh, pizza. My pizza has arrived. Uh, I will eat it in due time. But we need to scare these crows off. Otherwise, the wifey is going to be real upset. I don't know what else I need to do. To use dead eye for this. Ain't that fancy of me? There we go. We did it. Don't worry, lovely wife. I've done it. And I've gotten some feathers for you to put in your hair. Because that's ladylike. Hey, Jackie. Hello, sir. Whoops, sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm not a bad father. Howdy. Who said that? Was it my wife? Now you're just standing there? Wait a minute. To trigger another cutscene, I have to go outside? What is this? Well, Abigail, Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Bonnie? Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. <laughs> Weren't nothing like that. She's like jealous. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. <laughs> Give it here. What a cutie. You read that thing out loud? I ain't hiding nothing. They're so cute together. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Oh, that sounds stop. bad. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request, <laughs> no, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. I know. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo about the one thing uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone okay hurry back john and john what's she like uh you know a little bit like you i guess she's a woman in a man's world <laughs> <laughs> she's like you're full of talk Cry no longer. We got you, your son. Everything. We got him. Oh Mama, gosh, she looks like fine. a I'm fine, weirdo Mama. in that outfit. They fed me good. Italian. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. What about Johnny? I guess she doesn't like him. She's upset with him. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I Fuck. You crazy weirdo. Get in the wagon. I finally get to drive my own wagon. For crying out loud. John! Wait! Yes? Maybe I should meet this McFarland woman. <laughs> Why, you Where jealous, you honey? Talk? We better hurry. Uh-oh. Before time runs out. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. 
I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. I asked. I was late for you to ask me. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, while you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. Why I wasn't cavorting. So, is she married? This Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes. Mouth, nose, that kind of normal. She's also very God. beautiful. Ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Good. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. How did you save your mouth anyway? I got well, shot. Captain, Bill didn't take so kindly to be visiting on a Yeah, he shot Bill me. never did like surprises. How was he? He was, was good. I hope we'll get there in time. I'm running out. They, take they treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage. <laughs> Very fun. We're here. Bonnie, come out. It's me, the one who hey, loves you. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life. And for teaching the miserable goats manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. That's right. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books. Then. In the first game, she said she couldn't the book read. The Jacks. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence <laughs> on your mother, boy. That's right. This Who is used to be. This is first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. Thank you. How are I you said. feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse. And I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. That's Abigail, true. In my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Rat, well, yum. Using as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? Don't you love so this? Too. I never felt so outnumbered. It's so sweet. Having a home life again. A farm life. Bye, Bonnie. I love you. No. But at yeah. but at least I love you, Bonnie. Marry me, please, please. Don't leave. I'm gonna cry. To see Bonnie in that kind of state, I was so sad. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal. Like I said, <laughs> she's well, pretty. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I have thought she'd be just your thing. I'm only teasing. I like her, and I'm glad she saved your life. I'm glad well, you're glad. The time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on me. <laughs> you clearly had one too many blows to the head, and 
outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We, we will be. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? I believe it. Uh oh, it's gonna rain. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. Abigail. John, I've left forever. Stop. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. I love the way you read that last part. <laughs> there was no emotion. It was just like somebody who couldn't act reading a script and saying the line. Like they were pulling it out of their... Took us. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, it's my, my rancher's clothing. <laughs> That'll keep forever. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? Yes. The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? The life we tried for killing? Yep. We're back together, ain't we? Where are you going? Get <laughs> away home. Well... Now we got a chance to make it right. Come on, John. Let's keep moving. I'm trying. Good grief, woman. Let the man drive. What if I want to shoot some hunting animals? Hunt some animal shooting with my gun. We made it. See, honey? Safe and sound. Thank you. I really needed that. We did good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Pizza? And buffalo wings? I hope so. Don't forget the buffalo sauce. I like it extra hot. Am I wearing my rancher's clothing? Oh my goodness, it's the iconic outfit. Oh my goodness! If I didn't have this beard only. The end.